Alright, this is the Liberal Conservative reacts, and we're reacting to Norm Macdonald does stand up about coronavirus. This fucking. Yeah, let's see what Norm's saying. So, yeah, let's go. I, I wasn't going to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> But on the way here, I got really ill. <laughs> but I think it was because I ate a cherry pie. Like, I got a cherry pie from Bristol Farms, and I ate it, and then the car was going weird, and I was like, oh. And then I turned, we, he turned on the radio, Jeremy, and then all the fucking news was like, the guy was like, uh, well, there's uh, been so far 11 cases, 50! <laughs> 200. <laughs> I don't feel good. You know, you're like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> I feel like you know, I'm in a fucking middle of a Stephen King novel or something. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, so my plan is just to not die. You know, survive long enough. <laughs> where uh, they find a cure. You know, some people will have to die. <laughs> but finally they'll find a cure for me. <laughs> oh, you know, it's funny how Big Farm is so evil till now. <laughs> it's like, what is it, $200 a pill? Yeah, that's good, that's fine, I'll take it. <laughs> Give me all you got. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and now I'm sniffling. Oh. I don't know what that is. Could be the cocaine, I guess. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this goddamn, and so I take cocaine, you know. Then that makes the anxiety even more crippling. <laughs> it's funny that we all now know how we're gonna die. <laughs> it's just a matter of what order at this point. <laughs> I went to the Costco and the fucking everybody trying to buy shit and everything. Like the end of the world. And I'm like, uh, anything? And they go, you gotta make yours. I'm like, I don't know how to make Purell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't touch my fucking face. <laughs> Remember the good old days when washing your hands didn't take three hours? <laughs> like A, B, C, D. Uh, <laughs> Just take me now. Um, <laughs> so the mind never wanders too far from, you know, like I'll be talking about all kinds of horse shit up here tonight, but every moment I'll be thinking of this disease. <laughs> Just to let you know. Just getting away from you guys a little bit more. Uh, but it comes at a good time, this, uh, where we're all quarantined, because <laughs> we know how to live like that, right? We got our fucking magic phones and computers and everything. I don't need no fucking people. <laughs> it was the last step between us and happiness anyway, we're people. <laughs> got the TV and shit, fucking more interesting people than anybody I know. Listen to fucking first take. And <laughs> spend my last moments on Earth with Max Kellerman. <laughs> oh, God damn, I can taste the baby laxative in this fucking cocaine. <laughs> Rolling down the back of my throat. God damn. But I'm old anyway, uh, you know, so if I die, it won't be as much of a tragedy. I'm, uh, 
68 years young, I like to say. Yeah. You get old and you start worrying anyway, you know. Forget the coronavirus, like that's possible. I said I wasn't going to mention it. I, you know, I was, I was talking to the manager. He's like, nobody wants to hear about the fucking coronavirus. They come here to not hear about the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's true. But it was a good idea you made. It was a good choice tonight to come out and sit beside total strangers. <laughs> <laughs> At least I might be here. I can run, you know. At least I can flee when I see it. <laughs> Fucking hell. That might have been the funniest opening. I just love his fucking subtle of like, um... Fuck, I can't even remember it now. I have to listen back to the... Because I missed a lot of... To be honest, I missed quite a few, like, tag... Of the tags to the punchlines. Because when he said fucking... Uh, what was the fucking bit in the beginning? If you're listening to the radio and it says 11... Okay, 50 cases. And then you're like, oh, that's not good. That... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this is fucking brilliant. Uh, actually, that's what fucking triggered me laughing in the beginning. Oh, that's not good. But fucking, that's balls to come out because fuck me, everyone is. What is it? I mean, a Steven Spielberg novel. <laughs> no, a Stephen King novel. Could be a Steven Spielberg movie. Fucking. Norm fucking Norm's a king. Norm is sixty-eight years as well. Sixty-eight, and he's more on point than the majority of younger comedians. And he's got more balls. He's a bit like Pat Cooper. Pat Cooper is fucking balls. The Norm to go out there and now. Just do that about Corona. And to say as well, what did he say? That the fucking. I was going to bring up Corona and all that. And then he says, um, it's nice to come out and sit beside a load of random people. <laughs> it's just like making fucking. everyone be like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Elephant in the room, Patrice O'Neill. But yeah, anyway, that's the reaction. Fucking, a piece out. <laughs>